Hey, yo, what's up? You know what it is? It's the one and only Pastor L live from the synagogue. I'd like to welcome you guys back to another installment of Triple the God Speaks Out. Come on in, my children. Come on in. Take a seat. Make sure to put something in that building fun because we's about to have a celebration. Uchu Senta Q Ranger Space 33. Launch you. Better Orion Ship. Come on in. Come on, just bring your asses up in the church. Come on, sit down, take a seat, because, yo, we about to have church, because it's a celebration up in here today. What is dead is never truly dead. Its spirit will live on. And that's what this episode is all about. This episode is simply about, even when we are long gone, what it is that we pass on. And it's like, I kind of figured this is what they were going to do with everything that we give, that everything that we got when Orion, to, when Orion, when Orion died. And I kind of figured this is what this was. But it's like, this episode brought a whole bunch of stuff full circle. Even stuff you have probably forgotten all about. The one thing you may have forgotten is, remember, the original Orion ship was actually somewhat sentient, and we learned that, and my, and still what my favorite episode of this series is so far, is episode 4, Dreamy Android, where all it can say is his own name, Orion. And we got a whole bunch of that when we got around to, you know, to, to pushing and selling this toy. But the rest of the episode was really good, because, see, I appreciate they didn't just hand it to Lucky. Lucky had to earn it. Lucky had to understand what it was he was grabbing on to, what it was he was protecting from the past to bring it to the future to keep the will living on. It's like the show could have copped out and just said, oh, you you, you got the ultimate cue time. Press button, spin this thing. Magical things happen. No, you, you had to earn this. It's that there was a whole lot of just dumbness in this episode. That the whole error scene was dumb. She just sits up here, appears out of thin air like, oops, it's me, boo. Where you been at, baby? Oh, what was you talking about? I missed you, daddy. Where you been at? I'm like, we've been doing the stuff like, hey, like, I don't know who that Orion dude is, but that shit around Perp, he fine as hell. But you my boo now, baby. You know, I love you so much, girl. Girl, hold up. Not, not in front of everybody else. Chill, chill. But baby. I've been missing you. You ain't been coming over like you said you was to give me that good nigga. Girl, look, not in front of the homies. Not in front of my homies. Okay, baby. I'm going to come here and do what I got to do. Hey, y'all, y'all need to listen up. Hey, I heard rumor that y'all ship got messed up. So this what I'm going to do. Here a cute time out. Won't you use it and see what it do? <laughs> something, something cute time out. Hey, what's up, shit, run, perp in the building, baby. Yo, I've been in the past. Yo, I figured out how to cook some new lean. Like, like the new lean. This lean is better than rainbow lean. I just call it lean because it's the ultimate lean. It's like the lean change colors. It ain't just multi. No, this thing change colors. You can hold it. And the lean change color according to how you feel it. Mood changing lean. Like if you mad, it turn red. If you feeling mellow, it turn blue. If like you high, it turn green. Like this stuff is legit, man. Yo, this boy Orion was on one. Yo, I'm like, man, I wish we'd have knew this back in there. But look, look, look. If you guys are watching this right now, y'all ship got jacked up. But, 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 I got good news for you. Somewhere on the earth, is this thing I hooked up. It's called the Battle Orion Ship. If you can find it, then it's going to be all good. I, I placed it like right around here. I don't know where here is, but it's here. So y'all need to go get to that. After all this dumb stuff happens, Birdman sits up here and makes the point like, Yo, I forgot there was a thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, he straight up's like, yo, I forgot there was a thing. Because it was seen that this was always going to be a thing. But 
But in it being a thing that because Orion took whatever L because he had to put Birdman to sleep or whatever, is that it never, ever, 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 ever got done. Y'all shouldn't let me do this. That's what you get. But yeah, it was seen that this was always a thing. But it was seen that because of their meddling in the past, it brings things to the future. Is that if Lucky never would have went to the past, he never would have inherited a Ryan's will, which ultimately gets him the soup I say that change you and this this giant Zord, which is going to become some cluster jack up or whatever. And we'll talk more about that in a minute, though. You know what I'm saying? So. Here we are at this point. It's like the rest of the episode was an episode of Sentai. It's like they they threw in a little of that let's switch your personality thing because, you know, every Sentai season has one of those episodes. It just happened to be um, the boy Santi J. Y'all balancing Cutie Hammy who got their ter- personality twisted out. It's like you had, you had Santi J. Y'all acting like a, uh, acting uncouth. Like, that boy ain't had no home trying to sit up here talking like, I cut, I on oh, my mama, man, I'll kill you, my dude, man. You ain't want none of this. You got balance. He's sitting up here. Oh, hello. Como esta? Es su balance. I am here for your every need. I am balanced. And you got cutie hand me like, oh, I'm so beautiful, but I'm an old lady now. Don't mind me. It's all good. And it's like, and that, and that stuff was just funny because it's like like in the middle of the episode they trying to get them to actually do some fighting and, and Naga being smart for a chance hits up here hits him with the reverse psychology right and hits him with the man we ain't finna do nothing what you say we ain't finna do yo let's do this and it was like it was nothing then they had to do it and then Lucky had to do it a second time after you know Kukuruga took an L after they awa- awakened the Orion Battler or whatever I'm like, again, like I said, this was just one of those, one of those straight episodes is that the whole point is we need to get over a toy. The show successfully did that. I'm like, we answered a whole lot of questions and we got some interesting stuff coming up. I'm like, the whole ship, shit, shit Ron Perk was in cold sleep inside the, uh, inside the Battle of Ryan ship. You know what I'm saying? I thought that was the perfect way to handle that. And it also... We learned the end of the episode is that the homie Moo Moo man, he just running around in the streets like he trying to find Professor Anton. And it's like, y'all know my thought on who I think Professor Anton is. Y'all know that I think he might have something to do if he is not the new Don Armage or have something to do with that. That's just what I think. And I don't know what's up with my boy because, see, the thing that the, the question the show didn't answer was when. Sherron Perk went in a cold sleep and how long he was in cold sleep before before Moo Moo Man left to go find Anton. I'm like, the show didn't answer that. It doesn't necessarily need to answer that. It would bring me a little bit more completion if it did, but I'm not going to sit up here and hold the show over the cold because it didn't answer a question that I randomly have about a show that's trying to push a toy to me. Speaking of that toy... We have to talk about that toy because it is my job to talk about this toy. The Battle of Ryan ship. It's like, I said at the beginning of this episode where that this episode was like some full circle stuff, mainly for, mainly for um, Raptor Band stuff because we understand now that the whole time, the Orion ship held the spirit of Orion and everything that he believed in. So the Battle of Ryan ship is what what is what's a, what was in his fighting spirit plus whatever the power that Lucky absorbed when he become Shishi Red Orion and all that stuff is that this thing is a sentient being and the original Ryan was too. So because we're talking about some past future stuff, it could be very possible that when they changed the when they changed the past which altered the future is that the Battle of Ryan ship is probably built heavily upon the original design of what the Orion is, but then twisted upside down to become a battleship. And I'm like, yo, speaking of that battleship, the show took its sweet old time pushing this toy. They pushed this toy 
in a way that's like, okay. I'm like, yo, we got we got blasters, we got missiles, we got nuclear bombs. I'm like, yo, we finna go out. We got more gold guns because they came from Iraq. I'm just like, wow. I'm like, this is the episode. These episodes like these remind me of the show that I'm watching. The, it just seriously reminds me that I am watching a toy commercial. A very dramatized toy commercial, which is really good, but has to sell that toy. I'm like the me- I like the look of the Megas. I like the look of the Megazord. It's full battle form. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I I'm feeling that. You know what I'm saying? Got the heat cropping up and got the um got the club. We be clubbing. So I'm like, the show did the job of you know making sure that the toy was pushed. You successfully have done that. Congratulations to you, Q Ranger. So, here are the questions that I got now. We got the Battle of Ryan ship. We got Birdman joint. We got all the Q Ranger Zords. We got Shinron Perps joint. And we got uh, Japanese Justin joints. We have what is technically Q Comagen. Which is partly which you, which I include in the Birdman stuff. What is this cluster of Zord going to look like, right? That's the question I got. I'm like, I could only imagine the nuts so things they going to do to make a cluster Zord work. Because they kind of have to. I'm like, I don't really know what else they can really do with this thing. Because let's think about this for a second, right? We already... Can't combine Kureno and Ruteo, right? That's a thing, right? If I'm not mistaken, um, we got Birdman joints. That's a thing. That becomes to Kamajin. So you now have the Battle of Ryan ship. Am I forgetting? Am I forgetting a Zord formation? And I'm like, I just happen to be on the wiki, so I'm just gonna double check and look because I don't. I'm, if I'm gonna make this point. I don't want to get this wrong. Okay, so. Alright, okay, so. Okay. What the, what is this? Oh, Ruteo. I was reading that wrong. I thought I was reading something else. So, here, okay, I'm looking at the wiki. So, just just with your boy for a minute, alright? We got something I don't know about, and because I don't know about it, I'm just going to fail to not mention it because technically I shouldn't be looking at this, but I just want to get this right. We got Kukamajin, we got Ruteo, and Kureno. We got, um, what word? I'm looking, I'm trying to look for, oh yeah, we got Gigantaho, we got that. So, we got. Three Zords, so three big main Megazords that combine into other things. You now have the Battle Ryan ship, its form or whatever. You have got to legitimately wonder, and I mean legitimately wonder, what is this cluster Zord gonna be? Because I don't see how you're gonna be able to take take apart. The battle form of the uh, of the Battle of Ryan ship. I don't know how you're going to be able to do that. Split that up. Combine that with q Tomogen, Combine that with Rute Kureno. And do all this. And then make a Zord out of it. And then, and then let me not forget. We got, um, we got the, we got Geek Out the Hall over here. So what are you going to make a cluster Zord out of this? It's like these things are separate. Like. The only thing. I could possibly think of, possibly, is that you got all these Zords, right? And you need to make like some ultimate thing. Take me on a bet. This is finna be some Engine Geo 23 nonsense. Where in the movie, because I'm spoiling this movie, where they get all the Zords together and they combine the energy and then they use the, um, the, the battleship as a gun. 
That is the only possible thing I could think of that makes legitimate sense because there is no way the way that these Zords and these Megazords are configured that you could combine them into one giant thing. No way. No way. There is no way, unless unless there is something I am missing about the configuration of these Megazords that will combine into a thing. Because if I'm missing it, then I am totally missing it, totally missing it, right? So I don't know. Um, me no no. Call me call me Vincent Sad baby, and me no no. But I don't know for real. Like I said, it's like the the. The giant kings, as I'm allegedly supposed to be calling them, I call them Megazords. It's easier for me to say, right? We're going to call them Megazords. Somebody tried to complain about that once, and you can go for yourself. But we're going to call them Megazords because it's easier for me. So, let's review this. Let's review this logic once more, okay? We got a new joint today. It's like, we got the we got Orion Battleship Battle Formation Megazord here. We got Kureno, Ruteo, and Gigantahoa, right? You can combine Ruteo and Kureno. We got q Tomogen, And you got all these ores. What, how are all these things supposed to like come apart and become something? But see, here's the thing that I just thought about. It's possible because in his Shishi Red Orion form, Lucky can do that. He can see set up her, and, and, and remember, I said it, and I quote: He bust out the fruit baskets on, on the boy, on the on the boy Don Omaga and them squad boys York Matter, and put in work. So it would not surprise me if the Orion Battler could do something with Lucky at the helm to summon all the Zords at the same time at will, and then make something happen. It would not surprise me in any way that that's where they're going with this. Because he's demonstrated that he has that power if he wants to use it. So I'm assuming that your new Megazord created just for you in your super mode could possibly pull off something like that. A Mirakaru or something. Shout out to Arrow, but look. I don't know. I don't know, but but that's just what that's just what I'm on right now. That's the wave I'm that's the wave I'm surfing right now. With how you going I'm like you can't make no giant super cluster up or out of these things. You cannot. You cannot. So the only thing I can think of is that they finna use the wine as a big giant gun. I'm like, man, I was finna say something about Decker Ranger though. Yeah, what? Well, Cause yeah, Decker Wing Robo that becomes a big giant gun. Yes, thank you. I'm, I'm like I'm remembering my Zord right. Deco Wing Robo becomes a big giant gun. So Zords becoming attack weapons in instances where they they own Zord becomes an attack weapon for another Zord is not like this is some strange thing we just made up last week. So it's possible, maybe. If possible, I, I guess I don't know. I'm trying here, okay? And then I'm trying. Look. This was a great episode. I want to know what's up with my boy Moo Moo Man. Like, holla at me. Because the end of that episode, man, that looked kind of, you know, not right. At all. In general, period. That ain't look so right. Like, he said he in the cut hemmed up. And you got Akiyama and Kukuluga in there like, yo, we finna put in some work, cuz. And I'm just like, oh no. Because, again, I hope that we get some backstory to how Champ got hemmed up. Because we going to get it, but it's going to be how soon will it will they deliver what it's going to be is the question you now have to ask yourself about what is it going to be. It is what it is. But, yo, that right there, my children, is... Another episode of Triple the Guy Speaks on in the books. Uchi Sentai Key Rage Space 33. Launch Battle the Ryan Ship. Great episode. Great episode. I do want to say, um, let's see. Before we get out of here. Before we get out of here, I'm trying to think. Um, y'all want to know what's up with what's up with that boy? Um, what's up with that boy Sento Kitty? I got what you need. You know what I'm saying? So 
you can watch that. Um, I got some more work coming up. Um, we got got work coming, man. Ruby Volume Five is this weekend, so you know I'm gonna be all over that. My Little Pony, as usual. I'm still, I'm still trying to go see the movie so I can like say some more. I'll probably go see it this weekend, but life came up. But we try this weekend. We'll see about that. Um, let me see. And um, 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 anything else? Not that I can think of, but I got some work in the cut, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get some things together. I'm trying to get some things together, so it's like, just bear with me. How about that? I'm like, we 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 work, putting in this wisdom. It is what it is. All right, so let's go on here and let's just get up out of here. You know it is the one and the only triple G L D, and you know me, A K A. Pastor L live in the where synagogue. Make sure put some money in that building fund because we celebrated the return of this around the new the possibilities of cluster fund zords and all this old stuff. Building fund, building fund. Go get up out of here. One and the only the triple the GFD. Another installment of triple the guy speaks on in the books. And with that being said, super say the chain. <laughs>